Some of the best looking markets for brand new Amazon sellers are actually products that you are not allowed to sell on Amazon. It's not gonna turn out really well for you. And recently I've had a couple of students try and spend a couple thousand dollars to buy products, to buy these exact products. And now it, it looks super good. Products with like one, two, maybe even 10 reviews doing 30, $50,000 a month. So it looks like the perfect market. But the problem is you're gonna get your inventory into Amazon and I've never had this experience, but from the what I've been told, what's gonna happen is your product is going to sit, it's gonna sell very well, uh, but two days down the road, two months down the road, two weeks down the road, at some point, you're gonna lose your listing. Amazon's gonna come in, they're gonna put down that ban hammer and be like, what the hell are you doing selling this product on our platform that we told you you can't sell? And so what's gonna happen is you sold very well for who knows how long, but you're gonna be stuck with hundreds, more likely thousands of dollars worth of inventory that you're just sitting on and you don't know how to sell it. And before you click off this video, I want you to know that these are products that most people would not expect to be restricted. And that is why people are falling for these, falling for this trap, okay? And I don't want you to fall for that trap. I'm gonna show you how to find every single one of them and how to spot a market that is clearly a product for it's restricted. Uh, so you don't, you don't even really need to look on the back end, even though you will, you will obviously. Uh, but my name, before we get into that, my name is Adam Fisher, and I'm, I'm here to help you guys get to your first five grand a month on Amazon. That's what this whole channel is about. But you're gonna be more likely to be sitting, be sitting on five grand in inventory if you try and sell one of these products. So let's show you how to find them. Now it's very simple. All you gotta do is go to Google, type in Amazon restricted products. This is how I get there every time, and just first link is exactly how you get there. Now it's gonna take us to this page right here. And you can see there is a long list, it's not short. And that is part of the issue. And you need to really dig down and read some of these things right here. I'm gonna give you guys some of the most common things I see mistakes with, people are trying to source. Uh, the most frequent one recently has been these ultrasonic pest control. With it being, with it being uh, this time of the year during the summer, these products are selling so well. You're like, wow, how's this guy with 10 reviews selling $60,000 a month? And it's crazy, but it's just so short lived. So if you're trying to make a couple bucks here in one month on Amazon, this honestly is a way you could do that. But I promise you, it's just so short lived and you're not looking towards the future. It's not going to turn out well for you. So uh, let's take a look at how you actually identify one of those markets here. And, and let me show you something that I mean here. When I say you need to really read in to these to actually see what's restricted. So one of the categories here is going to be for pesticides. And when I actually click into the pesticides category, I can see what's restricted right here. Pest control devices for ultrasonic, for example, ultrasonic devices for repelling ants that have not been manufactured in EPA registered facilities. So you're buying these products from China, these ultrasonic pest controls, and, and they weren't manufactured in an EPA facility. And that's the problem here. And that's why they're not allowed, but you wouldn't know that. You wouldn't know that without reading into this. Did you know that magnets smaller than anything about this size are also not allowed on Amazon? But you wouldn't know that if you didn't come in here and read that. And I've almost made a mistake on one of these products before. Uh, I got very close to spending a couple grand on a product that was not restricted. It was those very small magnets that you see often, those small magnet balls. I almost spent a couple grand on those products because they sell incredibly well. And let me show you what I mean. Let's dissect one of those markets. This is one of those markets that you are not allowed to sell. But the problem is, I don't know why Amazon doesn't just stop you guys from selling them first and foremost. Uh, but they will let you list them. And some of these listings have been around for a while, some 100, some 200 days. Uh, but others do not get that lucky and they get their shop much, much quicker. And let me show you the numbers behind this market and you will see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the Viral Launch Chrome extension. You can see here we have a product selling, let's sort by, well, you've got a product who's selling $44,000 a month and somehow has four reviews. Like, like, how is that even possible? Like, how is that even possible? Yeah, we got another listing doing 16 grand with three reviews. If we scroll down here, we've got, you know, like this guy, 133 reviews. Now these could be real reviews. These could be, these, these reviews could be manipulated. I don't know. 
Um, but we take a look here, right? There's just guys doing 15, 20 grand, 20 grand in sales, four reviews. Why are there so many products doing 20 grand a month that has four reviews? And this product is out of season, keep in mind. It's coming out of season. If we go back to a month or two months ago, uh, when summer was really in session, this product sales were much, much higher than they are now. It just doesn't make any sense, does it? It doesn't make any sense. There should be products that have been on the market for many seasons, for many years, and they have built up hundreds, most likely thousands of reviews because these products are selling right out of season, 20, 20 to $40,000 a month. It just doesn't make any sense. And if we go take a look at one right here, uh, this guy right, this guy has, you know, five fifty one hundred in home and kitchen. Um, I'm actually releasing a Chrome extension like this here. I'm trying to get it developed, but well, that's kind of under wraps. We'll, we'll talk about that later. But you guys can see, we take a look at his sales. Let's look at that first and foremost. This is the AMZ Scout uh, Chrome extension. This one's free, uh, 700 sales a month. But somehow he launched 23 days ago. So maybe he just has a phenomenal product. Maybe he just came out with something way better than the competition. And that's why he's selling so well. But when you see multiple products in a market like this, they've only been around for 10, 20, 40 days, and they're selling insanely well, that is your clear cut sign that this is, this is a market that you should not be selling. This is a, very likely a restricted product. And some of you are going to try and make some money in the short term and try this stuff and then never sell on Amazon again. But I'm trying to go for the long term here, okay? Let me, sh let me show you guys what the long term actually looks like. So uh, right now, the goal is to build, the, to build up a brand and then sell it. That's the goal on Amazon. And for smaller brands, a lot of them are getting about 30 times their monthly income, okay? Now you can't sell them right away. It's gotta, you gotta prove that your product has been on the market for a year or two and that it is sustainable, that sales aren't gonna drop off in two months. But, you know, my first product ever, right, made $2,500 a month in profit. So if we just multiply that by 30, right, that one little product launch, I can't, can't sell it right away. I really need to build it out into a brand, which we're doing. Uh, you know, it's going to be worth at some point, hopefully $75,000. And so one stupid little product has, in theory, increased my net worth by a lot. Now, I know this numbers are all stipulation. I haven't sold it yet. But, right, like this is the goal. This is the reality, and, and especially if you build your brand up into something uh, that is selling millions of dollars a year or even million, uh, millions of, a month, then those multiples go up a lot, a lot. Um, and so they might not be worth 30X anymore, they might be worth 60X. I definitely know of a couple people who have been given offers to buy their company for crazy multiples like that. You guys have been watching YouTube videos for weeks or maybe even months at this point. It's about time you guys started taking action. And the reason why you haven't taken action yet is because you don't have the knowledge. You don't feel like you have the knowledge to actually start taking action. That's why I put together an entire course on how to do this. It's got incredibly good reviews from the students that have taken it. I will leave one of those reviews right after this. It'll be the first link in the description. Before I bought a, a different course and it just seemed like it was a bit like too broad and not as specific. Like your course is very detailed just every single detail, I get to see your screen, I get to see what you're doing, um, how to do it. Um, you give a lot of examples, you give a lot of uh, screen time. So it really helps, you know, to just step by step follow exactly what you're saying. It's uh, the style of teaching is just very easy to follow. Like uh, some guys just talk and talk and talk about like how to do it. You actually do some case studies um, and, and give a lot of examples. So, so it's well organized. For sure. So I, I uh, talking about organization, um, very well organized. Like you do not like skip ahead and go too fast. And you put the things like this is like I like I said, being the second course, um, this is much easier to follow than the fir first course that I took. And where you put the videos in which order makes way more sense than the first course that I took. It was all like kind of clumped How together. How much did that first course cost? That's five hundred dollars. Oh man. Would I do Amazon without the course? No. Um, uh, it's way too much work. You've got to go through so many YouTube videos just to get some kind of normal content. Um, and they're very generic and broad. It's like a broad brush stroke. You're not going to get much from them. Um, and if you're going to start, you're going to be lost. So overall, um, like I said, the content was, was great. Like way more detailed, way more organized. 
I think just the detail, like even just the example of air and just like the shipping, right? So like instead of it just being so broad and oh you just ship it, you know, see your air, you explain why and you give the, the you know the, the motive behind it, you give the why behind the what. So a lot of that stuff is so helpful. I I mean honestly, the other big thing is adding Rafa in there it gives a lot of security for me yeah. because. Uh, just like you've been selling since March, right? Or full time since March, and then you started what last October? Yeah. So I mean, so you just putting out a video is like, okay, I mean, I could maybe make it because this guy made it. Versus if you bring in a guy like Rafa with all the background and all of the, you know, sales that he's already done, like it brings much more security to the course. Yeah, he's been there for five years. I actually just went on a four day cruise with him. Oh really? It was awesome.